Hey, what's up everybody? Third stop of the FLW Tour season at Lake Lanier is officially a wrap. Uh, finished up the event in 29th. Um, certainly would have liked to have done better in the event. It's right here at home for me. But, you know, thankful for a good finish. Um, would have done a few things differently. The first would have been fish a little bit slower through a couple of key areas. Um, but overall, good finish. Um, the lake really showed out. I mean, if any of you guys followed the event, there were some incredible bags. 23 and a half pound bag of spots weighed in. Um, anyway, the lake just showed out. But I'm going to show you some of the gear that I used this week and uh, show you some of the baits that caught, caught my fish. So check them out. All the fish that I weighed in this week were on these three baits right here. This is a Z-Man Zinkers, right here. Drew's Craw color. Uh, it's threaded on a uh, fish head hammer jig head. Um, if you want to uh, put a Laztec on a coil spring keeper, just heat the spring up, thread your bait on there, back it off, put a little glue, thread it back on, and it's not coming off anytime soon. Um, another one is a uh, custom painted jerk bait. One that I painted up, blueback herring color. See if you. Uh, Few battle scars on it caught some big ones on it this week had some close calls with some big ones on it this week but you know that's how it goes sometimes another bait that i'm uh excited to show y'all falling in love with this one real quick and this is a hammer spin from fish head this is a really really unique jig head um, obviously i have a swim bait on it this is a z-man diesel minnow um, you can also throw a worm on it, grubs, crawls, whatever type of situation you're in. This is a very versatile little jig head. You got a tiny little micro blade, as you can see right there. Um, gives it a unique flash, and it's a little bit different than a traditional fish head, which has a lot bigger blade and more flash. But awesome little head. This is a 3 16 with slow winding on the bottom and picking up some of those uh, those big pre-spawn spots. But um, all these uh, all these baits, throw them on a Daiwa. Tatula series um, rods and reels. Um, the spinning rod with the zinkers on it was 20 pound Smackdown from Seaguar and it was uh, paired up with an 8 pound Abrazex leader. Um, both of the casting rods were both 12 pound Abrazex. Um, but pretty simple setup. The uh, you know, there was a lot of different techniques uh, playing this week at Lanier. Um, but overall, like I said, a good tournament and uh, was really proud of the lake and, and all the, uh, the people that came out for the weigh-ins each day up at Laurel Park. But. First event for me in the new Ranger. Wish I would have made the switch to a Ranger a long time ago. Awesome, awesome boat. It's got Lawrence HDS carbons on it. Awesome stuff. These graphs are incredible. If you're in the market for a Ranger, check with the guys down at Sinclair Marina. Feel free to hit me up. I'll get you in touch with them. Awesome place, great service, and uh, they'll get you fixed up. But we're going to pack the boat up, get ready for Lake Oconee. We're going to go fish a BFL this weekend down there and uh, get ready for Cumberland. It'll be here in a few weeks. Can't wait. See you guys.